it's Auntie Colleen again. I know you already knew that. I have one more book for you. Merry Christmas, Little Pookie by Sandra Boynton. And it has this purple label because it came from the library. A library is a place with lots and lots of books that you can borrow. Merry Christmas, Little Pookie by Sandra Boynton. Oh, Pookie, come look. It's starting to snow. What a fine Christmas Eve. <gasps> Wait, where did you go? I put on a snowsuit. Would you like to go out? I would like to go out too. It's a magical time to be walking with you. It's fun to feel snow on your cheeks and your chin. Our noses are frozen. It's time to go in, but I'm not cold. And now get ready. There are garlands to make and lights to turn on and cookies to make. Did you hang up some decorations and do you help turn on the lights? <gasps> did you make cookies with your mommy or your daddy? Maybe you did. <gasps> Listen, do you hear happy voices? Yes, says Pookie. <gasps> now the doorbell is ringing. Yes! Our family and friends have arrived for the singing. They're gonna have a sing-along. Come sing all together and be good cheer. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. The songs have been sung now. Goodbyes have been said. Let's hang up our stockings and get ready for bed. Usually the night before Christmas, you hang up stockings. And then sometimes when you wake up on Christmas Day, there's treats and presents in your stocking. <gasps> Tomorrow is Christmas, and when it is light, we will open our presents. But for now, it's good night. And Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas, my precious little pookie. And Merry Christmas to my precious David, and my precious Eleanor, and my precious Jean Marie. Auntie Colleen, what does she have for you? Yeah, you know. A hug and a kiss. Mm. Auntie Colleen loves you so much that it doesn't even fit on the TV or the phone or the screen. She loves you so, so much. And I'll be back again tomorrow with some more books. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs>